Hey everyone, Course One Seven finally back here with a DV or a DVD, HD DVD, and Blu-ray update. I have like three DVDs, I have nine HD DVDs, and I believe I have 35 Blu-rays. So this is probably all around my biggest update. Um, I think I have even more stuff to show than my Black Friday update and all. So it's not going to be like my normal updates where I have like the menu and make it all nice. I'm just going to get these as quick as possible. All right, the first three are DVDs, obviously. Um, starting off with American Pie yet again. This is the third time I bought this movie. Um, but I saw this at Entertainment Mart for like five bucks, and I thought, oh man, I've never seen this edition before. And sure enough, it's just the rated, the R-rated version. It's not the unrated version. Um, but I like the cover, and I found out that you could get it for like three dollars online. I paid two dollars more for it. And also the freaking case, the nice outer case part right here the, the fold is like ripping apart so kind of sucks and then not only that but it only came with um it only came with one disc so whatever it's it's fine i just kind of got it just because i like the addition i like that cover and you know i guess just as an american pie fan it's kind of just cool to add to the collection so yeah it's uh, american pie the r-rated version for five bucks next up is martian child um i haven't seen this movie since i saw it in theaters i didn't pay 14.99 uh there was a blockbuster that recently closed down by my house and i got this for 2.99 three dollars so um yeah it's, it's a great film it's very 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 underrated uh john cusack joanne cusack amanda peet bobby coleman who's really good um, it's just a very good, you know, kind of heartwarming family movie. So if you haven't seen it, if you're into kind of like heartwarming family movies, I guess, uh, check it out. It's not that bad. Uh, the front, the back, and it's just a one disc. So that's Martian Child for three bucks. And another three dollar one that I found at Blockbuster, which I haven't seen this movie for a long time, but uh, it's definitely growing up there with some of my favorites, probably my top 100. That is Talhead. Um, this movie is just awesome. It's so good. You know, it deals with like racism and it's kind of a comedy drama and um, it deals with, you know, sexuality and so much stuff. I mean, there's so much stuff going on in this movie. It has, you know, Aaron Eckhart and Tony Collette, Maria Bello, uh, Summer Bischel. Um, this movie is, is very good. If you haven't seen it, it's, uh, it's definitely worth a watch. Uh, there's the front, the back, and it's just, uh, one disc, so... Yeah, Talhead for three bucks. All right, now moving on to the HD DVDs. Uh, the first one up is Knocked Up. Um, I decided to go ahead and pick this up on HD DVD. It was like $10 on Blu-ray, $5 HD DVD. Um, and it's a combo HD DVD, DVD as well, so it's kind of like $2.50 for each format. Um, it comes with all the same special features as the, um, <clears throat> the two-disc DVD. And it looks and sounds really good. Just a one disc. Um, yeah, so that's knocked up for five bucks. One of my favorite comedies. Next up is another great comedy. Um, I don't know if it's in my top ten, but I really enjoy this one. It's definitely one of those that gets better with each watch. Old school, unrated, um, also like for five bucks on eBay. I think I said eBay on the other one. It, it was, most of these are from eBay. Um, Luke Wilson, Will Ferrell, Vince Vaughn, Sean William Scott. Bunch of really cool people in this movie. Um, all the same special features on the back, and uh, yeah, it's just a one disc, so not bad, old school. Next up is Blades of Glory, um, again, not Will Ferrell's best, but you know, uh, it's not bad, it also has John Heater, um, what's her name, um, the girl who plays Pam on The Office, uh, Jenna Fisher. I love her. I think she's amazing. Very underrated actress. I always enjoy her. Everything she does, she's just so good. Um, but yeah, Blades of Glory. Um, all the same special features. Um, this is like rare to find on Blu-ray. It's like out of print on Blu-ray. And it's like $30 on Amazon. And I picked this up for $4. So, not bad. Just a one disc. So yeah, that's uh, Blades of Glory. Mission Impossible 2, or MI2. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I mean... Uh, you know, it is what it is. These Mission Impossible films are just high-octane Tom Cruise action movies. They are what they are. Um, but I, I think I paid like five fifty for it, so not too bad considering how much the whole trilogy box set's going for on Amazon for like 80 bucks. So, 
not too bad. So I just need to get the, the first one and the third one and I'll be done. Um, the back, all the same special features. Um, just a one disc. So that's uh, Mission Impossible 2. Next up, got this one for less than $3 on Amazon. Liar, liar. I just rewatched this the other day and I gotta admit it still holds up very, very well. It's still to me one of the best comedies out there. It's just so fun. I mean every frame of this movie will make you laugh. It's just so good. One of Jim Carrey's best in my opinion. Um, again, the same special features, normal comedy cr stuff. Um, I almost said crap. <laughs> but you know, I mean crappy special features considering it for such a great movie. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, just a uh, one disc. It's not even on Blu-ray, so it's nice to have it on HD DVD or in a high definition format. So that's a liar, liar. Got it for I think two ninety nine. Next up, I picked up this whole box set for three dollars on uh, on eBay. It came, I think, with shipping. It was a total of three dollars and a penny. That is Heroes: The Complete First Season on HD DVD uh, for a little over. Well, for like I said, three dollars and one penny. So, yeah, and it's pretty much in perfect condition. The guy said he only watched it once, so I was very excited to get this. I've been looking for it for a while. Um, a lot of good special features on the back. Good making up stuff and deleted scenes and lots of good stuff. Nice holographic, strong cardboard slip case. Take that off. And then you get this, again, with the special features and stuff. And you get the insert, which always slides out. <clears throat> Um, some nice artwork, and then you get into the discs and stuff about the episodes. And there's seven discs, so for three dollars I got this whole set, which is pretty, and you know has background art and everything. I don't know if you, if I'm showing it all off properly, but um, yeah, and I, I will admit that Heroes should have been a miniseries. Like it's one of those things that the first season was so good, and then it just went downhill from there. And so I don't really have any need to pick up the second, third, or fourth season. Um, it, it just should have been a miniseries. HBO should have picked it up and it should have been a miniseries. That's what it should have been. But um, the first season is by far the best. So Hero Season 1, three bucks. Next up is Hot Rod. Another stupid comedy. But this is out of print on Blu-ray as well. It's going for like 30 bucks online. Um, unless if you could be the, one of the lucky ones to find it at Blockbuster for $10. But um, I picked this up for two ninety nine, brand new on Amazon. So, you know, it's not a movie I'm going to watch a lot, but it has, you know, some funny scenes, you know, Cool Beans and uh, the scene where, you know, he's falling down the hill and a um, bunch of, you know, just stupid stuff, but it's it's funny. I mean, if you like The Lonely Island, uh, you know, Dick in a Box, I'm on a boat, and it's the same guys that do all that, so um, it's not bad. All the same special features, but it does have disc art, which is nice. The DVD doesn't have disc art, um, but the HD DVD does, so pretty cool. So, Hot Rod for three bucks. Next up was a blind buy. That is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I keep hearing the greatest things about this movie, um, but I just have not seen it. Um, all it has is deleted scenes, a featurette in the, in the trailer. Nothing amazing. Um, but we'll see. I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm about to watch it pretty soon. So, um, just a one disc. So, yeah, if you see the movie, let me know how it is. That's uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Last but not least is easily the most I've ever spent on an HD DVD on a single movie. Um, but I had to get this. I I love this movie. It's one of those chick flicks I could just watch again and again. I don't really consider it a chick flick. It's more of a ro romantic comedy. It's really funny and I love the stars and everything about this movie. is just greatness to me. Um, you know, I grew up watching this movie and uh, I, I always had the biggest crush on Julia Roberts and... Uh, mainly because of this movie called Conspiracy Theory, which she's amazing in. Uh, but this is the one, I think one of the first movies I saw her in, that is uh, Notting Hill, also with Hugh Grant. I just dig this movie. I mean, it's just so good, it's so funny, and so, I mean, even though it's, it is a chick flick and it's kind of cliche in that way, all the other stuff surrounding the kind of romantic aspect of the movie is very original and different. And I love the fact that it takes place in... Uh, in the UK and most you know American most comedies take or romantic comedies romantic comedies sorry take place in like New York or something but this takes place in the UK you know small town in Notting Hill it's pretty cool it's just different um, I love it and I spent ten dollars on this I saw it for ten dollars but it's going on um, I think I've seen it going for like forty or fifty bucks online so it's like you know very hard to find so I was very happy to find it for ten so a lot of good special features on the back 
I've only seen this movie on VHS, so it's it's a big upgrade from VHS. Um, it's the one disc. So yeah, that's Notting Hill, one of my uh, one of my favorites. All right, now onto the mother load, the Blu-rays. So here we go. The first one is seven pounds. Picked this up for six nine nine. Uh, blockbuster, not bad. Easily uh, one of Will Smith's most underrated films. Great performance. Rosario Dawson, Woody Harrelson. It's a good movie. The back. Haven't seen this one on Blu-ray yet, so I can't really comment on it. But yeah, nice disc art. So not bad. Six ninety nine. Next up, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. I haven't seen this one yet on Blu-ray either, but I have seen the movie. It's really good. Um, it's a nice, you know, like underground indie hipster type movie. Not bad. If you like Michael Sarah and Cat Dennings, definitely check it out. The back. Disc art. And these two movies actually have like background cover arts as well, which is pretty cool. So that's uh, Nick and Nora for $6.99. Next up, a Best Buy exclusive, Hannibal. Anthony Hopkins, Julian Moore, um, Ray Liotta, who else is in it? Gary Oldman as well. Um, directed by Ridley Scott. Not a bad movie. I mean, a lot of people give it crap, but I enjoyed it. It's not bad. Um, doesn't really, It doesn't come with any special features. Um, but, you know, I just kind of wanted to see this movie again. So I saw that uh, Best Buy picked it up. So uh, it's a one disc, recycle case. Yet again, back front. So it's Hannibal for 10 bucks. Next up is Dead Man Walking with Susan Sarandon and Sean Penn. Never seen this movie either. It's directed by Tim Robbins. Crazy Jason on Cackalacky Movie said it was good, so I went ahead and, uh, you know, he's been providing me with good, uh, what he calls intel lately, so I definitely went ahead and picked this one up on his recommendation. Uh, one disc. Uh, it just comes with the commentary, that's it. Next is Uncle Buck, uh, one of my favorite John Hughes, John Candy films. Love this movie, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Picked it up for 10 bucks. The back, no special features, just the movie. One disc. Love this movie. Definitely check it out. Next up is Tout Dega Nights, The Bow to Ricky Bobby. Picked this up at the pawn shop for six bucks. This is the PS3, uh, PG-13, no, no special features version. Um, just plain movie by itself. Um, not bad. I mean, it's not Will Ferrell's best, but I enjoy it. It's not bad. Um, it's kind of cool to have this PS3 version, which is kind of hard to find nowadays. So, pretty cool. Uh, one disc. So yeah, it's Todd Egg Nights. Next up, National Treasure 2. Picked this up at the pawn shop as well for six bucks. Uh, lots of special features on the back. Um, so one disc. The Disney code still worked. Got 125 points. Background with background art and stuff. Scene selection there. So that's National Treasure 2. Next up is JFK. Never seen this movie. Uh, got this off of my grandmother's recommendation. She said it's really good. Um, so yeah, it's a new movie. I got this at the pawn shop for six bucks. It's going at like going at uh, for like $25 at Walmart, so not bad. Um, pretty good special features on the back. I think there's like a good documentary on there. Um, it's not the digi book, but um, you know, for six bucks I'm happy with this. One disc, recycle case. So yeah, it's a uh, JFK. Next up, I was very excited about this. Got Salt at the pawn shop for six bucks. Um, three versions of the movie. Crap load of special features on the back. Um, yeah, I wanted the steel book, but sadly, you know, uh, Best Buy screwed me over on that. But, uh, yeah, one disc, nice background art. So that's, a uh, Salt, six bucks. Next up, never seen this movie, but I've been kind of on a Charlie Sheen kick lately with all the, you know, duh, winning, uh, stuff out there lately. But, um, Major League, uh, the Wild Thing edition, back, um, Picked this up at yeah, six nine nine Entertain Mart, so we'll see how it is. One disc. That's Major League. Next up, probably one of the best deals I got out of all this. Uh, Easy A picked it up at Best Buy for three dollars with some coupons and stuff, and it was on sale as well. I'm not a big fan of the movie, for, but for three dollars, how could I pass it up? I, I love Emma Stone, so um, I guess that works. And Allison Mashaka, damn! I mean, where the hell did Allison Mashaka come from? She's looking good. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, uh, nice disc art, background art, not bad. So that's a uh, easy A for three bucks. There's the back special features, uh, pretty good stuff on here. So yeah, easy A three bucks. Next up, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Nice embossed slipcase. Um, picked this up at uh, Best Buy for thirteen ninety nine on sale. 
lots of good special features on here. I mean, crap load of documentaries and stuff. Lucky enough to get the slipcase. I got the last one with the slipcase. Again, front, back. Nice disc art, inserts, DVD back there. Um, yeah, so that's uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, 1399.